Sex with robots. Our fascination with sexualized cyborgs is nothing new. There was even a fembot in the silent film era. The field of robotics is advancing so quickly that not only do sex bots already exist, but in the near future, they will be mind-blowingly lifelike. So where are we at in terms, of, in terms of robot sex technology? The time that we're in right now is so exciting because there's so many new innovations occurring. And as you just mentioned, they're happening so rapidly that uh, it's, it's, it's very interesting. There's a, a concept that I came uh, up with called robotic evolutionary cycle, which means how quickly are we evolving and changing? If you think about man and how quickly we change. We, it takes thousands of years to see any major change in, in human evolution, but robotics is changing so rapidly. Before robots are released to the market, they go through several iterations. So it's quite amazing how we have the beginning uh, curve, the trend for this uh, the social, entertainment, uh, uh, sexual, uh, robotic wave that we're all riding here. The backstory is very interesting. I, um, I was touched very uh, uh, deeply when I lost a friend in 2001. And uh, being a, a middle-aged guy, being an engineer, artificial intelligence engineer, and thinking about what's my life purpose? How am I going to bring meaning to, uh, how am I going to make a difference? And so I thought about my dear friend who passed away, and I said, you know, I'm going to replicate his personality within a, a system, within a software application. And uh, because I was thinking about his children and his children would never be able to speak to or ask for advice from his father, their father. So what I ended up doing is working on that basically as a, uh, a labor of love to create this, uh, this software application. At first it was just software. And then when I, uh, I put on my entrepreneur's hat, I said, how do I, you know, um, you know monetize this? And so uh, there's two things that we do. We do health care. Uh, there's a division called PCSystems.com, which is focused on healthcare applications of robotics. And then we have the True Companion, which is the sizzle for the steak, if you will, which is the, uh, the communication, the companionship, uh, as well as the sexual side of things. Adult entertainment robots, they range from $69.95, meaning $6,995, down to what we did is we're, uh, we haven't announced it yet, but we have a product which is going to interface with, uh, with uh, game consoles and such. And so there's no need to have a computer inside it because it's interfacing to another computer. And so that's 995. So you can think of it as a, a toy or, you know, a, um, a, 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 you know a, and it's a scaled-down version where it's not the full body. It doesn't have arms and legs. It's just the, the torso and the head. 84% of people do not share with their partner all their fantasies. I'll give you an example. Uh, I'm part therapist, part engineer with this kind of work where I hear all these stories. Uh, so many people want to have a threesome, or so many people maybe want to try a, a bisexual relationship, uh, with, and, and they're scared to. Well, guess what? You could invite, uh, uh, albeit you know, a robot, but uh, another you know, entity, another person, if you will, into the relationship without any worries about the diseases, about any worries about uh, uh, social stigma, 